It's finally here! Oh my god! It's finally here! V2 no! launch edition of Alchemix. And we're happy to finally bring it front and center here. Huge congratulations to the core team for getting this out. In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of Alchemix V2, everything that's going on, what you're seeing on the website here. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm a guy in my basement aping into wizard bank accounts. It was delayed. On the Ethereum network. I love to use it. Do your own research. I think this is one of the most innovative uh, projects building on the Ethereum DeFi ecosystem and I like to use it every single day and as much as I possibly can and would love to get rid of my traditional banking but do your own research. This is definitely not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. It's me, Carl. Chill, chill. As soon as you lo load the new Alchemix homepage you can see the full DAP. In the top right hand corner We've got gas here, and you can see current gas prices on the Ethereum network. They're so low right now. It's so cheap to do anything on Ethereum. It feels so good. You can change your currency from USD, Euro, Japan, Great Britain, and also to Ethereum. I really love the Ethereum. Um, and then down here, also you have all your personal settings and disconnect from your wallet. On the left hand side, you can see where you connect your wallet, if you want to see your current balances or hide your balances, um, and also the navigation bar. You can see my accounts, vaults, transmuter, farms, and governance. And on the first homepage, you get the ad, click to go to your self repaying loan, um, and some information about the protocol. Um, and down here you can get the introduction, you can get the uh, link to legacy v1 UI down here if you're looking for that to close your position over there and migrate. You also get that when you click on um, vaults here, go to legacy UI, but let's start with my accounts. When you click on my accounts, you'll see an aggregate total of deposits, debt limits, average APY overall strategies. It also lists all the strategies you're currently using in your vault, I'm currently using ETH. My average APY is 1.58% currently, which brings us to the vaults page. Here's where you're going to spend the majority of your time interacting with the DAP. On the vaults page, you can see your total deposits, your current debt, your available credit, global TLV over here, um, as well as all the strategies. Here's where you'll deposit and withdraw to strategies, as well as borrow, repay, and liquidate any of your loans. Remember, liquidating is the last thing you want to do. Um, if you absolutely need your collateral, you can liquidate some of your collateral to pay off your loan um, to pull out some of your other collateral. But remember, that's the last thing you want to do. Um, you know, because these are non-liquidatable loans, the best thing you can do is wait nothing but time and let your loan get paid off with sweet, sweet time. Okay? Okay. If you're looking for old deposits in V1, you can see the link up here, like I stated, to go back to Legacy UI and migrate everything. More on the transmuter migration soon. There's currently a governance proposal to migrate the transmuter and add the AMO. You can find more details on that proposal, governance proposal AIP39, down below in the description. We'll link to that and more on that in a little bit. We'll click on the transmuter tab here. In the DAP, you can see the trusty transmuter for each AL asset. Note there's a different transmuter to convert AL USD into DAI, USDC, or USDT, and the time to transmute each transmuter can vary depending on the APR um, and the yield that each strategy is earning. Also note all the great names for each transmuter. I have a feeling Gorby came up with these. I love them. Moving on to the new farms tab, we suddenly see GALCX very prominently displayed front and center with a wrap and unwrap button. What is this new GALCX, you may wonder? Hmm, what's going on here? <laughs> GALCX is Alchemix's new auto compounding single sided stake pool. Deposit ALCX and receive GALCX that is auto compounding for you. When you go to unwrap your GALCX, you will receive more ALCX back than what was originally deposited. You can also manage all the farm pools on this page as well. The single-sided ALCX pool, Saddle Al ETH pool, the TALCX pool, and the Sushi Swap LP uh, pool you can also manage here. Rounding it all off, the beautiful and brand new governance page. This is so beautiful. Like I said here on the governance page, 
you can see AIP 39 here. You can also vote as well. You can read a little bit of the script description here. You can click to get the full details about not only migrating the transmitter, but the AMO. And you can also vote within the DAP. This is an amazing addition to the new UI. I love this. And the composability that's being that you people can build on top of the new Alchemix V2, I think is amazing. I can see a lot of amazing things happening now that V2 is out. I can feel the relief in Scoopy Trooples Twitter posts. I'm sure the team is so happy to get this out. Um, they've been fixing any little tiny UI bugs and things like that going forward. I know the team's been extremely busy. Um, it's been amazing to watch this whole process. I'm excited to be using this as my bank account uh, going forward. Now that we've gotten more comfortable with V2 and the new UI uh, and all the navigational pages, we can dive into transmitter migration a bit more, the AMO a bit more, and a bit more advanced articles about the new V2 in further videos. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Thank you. Have a great day.